you've been invited to attend for a, a coronary angiogram by your cardiologist who wants more detailed information about your heart in order to plan treatment. A coronary angiogram allows us to look in great detail at the coronary arteries supplying the heart muscle. In patients with angina, it allows us to identify coronary artery narrowings that may be responsible for this symptom. It's also a test that is required in patients who are being assessed for treatment for heart valve disease. You are awake for the coronary angiogram procedure and you may be given a light sedative to make you feel sleepy. We use local anaesthetic to freeze up the skin either over the wrist, over the radial artery or over the top of the leg, over the femoral artery and this allows us to place very fine guide wires and catheters into the artery. These catheters can be passed up into the heart and we can use special radio contrast to take x-ray pictures of the coronary arteries supplying the heart muscle. We can get an outline of the arteries and we can also get a very clear picture of the heart chambers. And this is the most sensitive measure we really have of, of picturing or imaging the narrowings in the coronary arteries. We have the option during the procedure of investigating the narrowings more closely using a pressure wire. This may involve passing a very fine guide wire across the coronary artery narrowing and administering a drug, a test drug called adenosine, which will result in a degree of flushing or chest tightness, which is very short-lived and only lasts a few minutes. And this test allows us to further assess the severity of coronary narrowings and whether they need treatment. After the procedure, the catheters are removed and a pressure bandage is applied over the wrist or at the top of the leg and you're taken back to the recovery ward for observation. It is not uncommon to have slight discomfort at the site where the catheter enters, either at the wrist or the top of the leg and very commonly there's minor bruising. Sometimes the bruising can be more severe and this is why patients are observed after the procedure on the recovery ward to monitor for this. Generally this procedure is very well tolerated but there are uh, or there is a very low risk of uh, complication and there's a very low risk of serious complication with a coronary angiogram including heart attack, stroke or death. It's important to recognise that the cardiac team are trained to monitor and treat any complications should they arise and your cardiologist will have discussed the risks of the procedure when considering your referral. If you decide that you do not want to go ahead with the coronary angiogram, your cardiologist will support you and we can look at alternative ways of treating or investigating your symptoms. Most commonly after an angiogram Patients are discharged from hospital the same day after a period of observation on the ward. Within the first 48 hours, it's important to avoid strain or pressure over the puncture site, either in the wrist or at the top of the leg, and to avoid heavy lifting or, or, or heavy exertion. Your heart team and nurse will give you advice about when you can return to driving and what, if any, medication changes there are and when you're going to be followed up in clinic. The treatment and follow-up that you require will depend to some degree on the findings from the angiogram. Your cardiologist or your heart nurse will inform you after the procedure exactly what follow-up and further treatment you require. If they find a narrowing or blockage in the coronary artery, we have options. One option is to continue or to increase medication to treat the angina. Commonly, if we find a narrowed artery or arteries, we have the option of following on and treating the narrowing directly using the angioplasty and stenting procedure. Occasionally, we may identify more severe or complex narrowings, and in that situation, it is appropriate to stop and perhaps plan further treatments, which may involve coronary artery bypass surgery.